Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your turn, Brianne. Y'all already know, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe because I got the best hair tutorials on the tube. Okay, let's get into it. Very detailed, very informative, and I get right to the point. So let's hop into today's tutorial. We are doing the goddess knotless braids. Everybody calling them the Jada Waiter braids right now because y'all know she do a style. Next thing you know, it's a thousand braids named after her just because she made them popular. But yeah, that's what we're going to get into. So I'm about to show y'all the products that you would need to achieve this style. If you're an OG subscriber, you know this is my favorite braiding hair, the expressions. Um, I like to do the jumbo one, two, three times pack, okay, because you get more bang for your buck. So, I always use 1B hair because that's the closest to my hair color. I think these are like $6.99 a pack from your local beauty supply. Um, whenever someone calls a hairstyle goddess blank, it really just means you have hair left out of the braid or the twist, you know, the little curly, the curly hair extensions that show through. So um, this is the pack that I use today. It's the free tress and I think, yeah, it's the loose deep bulk. Okay, let me show you guys the hair because if you want your braids to look exactly like Jada's, I swear this is the perfect hair to use for today's style. Like, I was so pressed when I saw this hair in the store. Like, do you see this curl? It's giving, like, the way Jada's hair was, her hair that was left out, the goddess part, you know, it wasn't a tight coil. So this is what we want, something very loose wave. It's really giving me beach, beach wave vibes. So yeah. And then in terms of like actual products, I always like to use Shine and Jam. Today I'm using Cream of Nature's, if it will focus. There we go. So you just need some kind of mousse once you are done slaying your hair so everything stays intact. Of course, you're going to need some detangling tools. So I got my brush right here. And this is my favorite kind of comb to use for when I'm, you know, parting my hair. Definitely use some oil. You are going to need some oil to moisturize your scalp once you're done. So you don't get them little bumps. Them little bum bumps. Girl, nobody want those. And then, you know, you have to your edges. I'm going to stand by this edge control right now just because I'm going to use it until it's gone. But I really don't like it. So, I'm about to actually go teach myself how to do the style. Probably going to do half of my head. Probably going to come back, show y'all how it's looking, what it's giving. And then we're going to get into the actual story. Voice over Tara here to give you guys clear instructions on how to braid your hair for the godless knotless. So once you section off your hair, make sure you use whatever jam to coat the roots of your hair. This is going to get rid of any flyaways and make sure that your braid starts off really crisp. And then you just want to section your hair, your natural hair, into three parts. And then you're just going to braid your hair down once twice and then your index and your middle finger should be laying on top of one another and this is where you're going to insert your braiding hair the amount of braiding hair is all determined on your preference i use really tiny pieces um, and that also allows you to save money so basically each time your index finger and your middle finger is placed out you're going to add an extra piece of braiding hair you should have three sections of braiding hair to begin with. And then, of course, make sure you use your shine and jam to keep everything in place. And now, I like to take the time to add in the curly hair. You're going to do the same process. And you're going to braid it down to lock the hair in place. But then you have to go fishing and actually take the curly pieces out. If you were to continue to braid down, you won't have any curly pieces left out to show. So... It's really easy if you know how to braid this is like easy 101 for you um and then a tip i like to braid down in between me adding pieces of hair just because that adds to the length without you spending money to get longer braiding hair if that makes sense like you know 36 inch braiding hair is cheaper than 52 inch period so that's a little terror tip for you um, and yeah, the rest is real self-explanatory. I braided all the way down the ends, like as you can see, because I didn't want to dip my hair in the ends, so I actually saved a lot of time doing that. So yeah, I hope that made sense. 
Basically, Shannon Jam is my best friend, keeps everything together. I love this red tail comb. And the pre-stretched hair is my favorite because it's really easy to work with. So yeah, if you need a 101 tutorial on braiding, this is not the tutorial for you. But basically, I want you guys to remember that I only use five pieces of hair for each braid. Five pieces of straight hair and then I use one small piece of the curly hair. And then that was it. So I really like to make sure that my viewers understand what I'm doing. So I'm going to run it back for y'all one more time. Start off with Shine and Jam once you have your section. Coat your roots and then split into three. You're going to braid your hair down once and then twice. And your middle and your index finger are going to be left out. And that's the, those are the fingers that's going to grab the extra hair. And then you just braid it really, really tight to your scalp. Um, that's really important. And then you're going to have three pieces of hair in the beginning just to start your braid off and then once you braid that down you should incorporate your curly pieces of hair and a really important tip is to use shine and jam on your ends and like throughout your actual hair strands to make sure that they are really glued to your hair okay your hair needs to be glued to the extensions and then, like I said earlier, you got to go fishing for the curly pieces of hair. Um, I've had this style in my hair for about a week now. And I will say that even though the curly hair is really, really pretty, it does get tangled like any other curly hair. So make sure that you go to sleep with your bonnet and your scarf every single night or sleep on satin silk pillowcases but yeah just take your time with braiding make sure your sections are all the same size and you guys should be good to go no stranger vapes been waiting just as i recall that ass is still amazing So go ahead and drink up I'm so glad we got to link up Get to taking that off, taking that off me Cause I got the blood that made me call me So this is my favorite oil. I make it. 
you know, trying to be on a healthy hair journey. So I am going to cover my scalp with this oil and I'm going to massage it. It already feels so good. It honestly didn't take me that long to do my hair. Um, so I guess this is the FAQ part of the tutorial. I think in total this style took me six hours to do, which is not bad because I move slow and I take my time when I do my hair. I don't like to rush. I like to put on music and vibe out. So for a style to take me six hours to do, that's not a long time in my opinion. You guys will probably move faster than me. So I used a total of, I would say get two packs of the three pack hair. Now that I have moisturized my scalp with the oil, I'm going to put some mousse on just my roots. I don't want to put no mousse on like the actual hair. Just my roots. I'm going to get a lot. So my roots stay intact. This feels so good and you want to put it all over the front of your head i'm not gonna do my edges right now just because i'm about to stay in the house um i will do my edges tomorrow but yeah just feels so good make sure you get the back as well like the middle of the back of your head at the roots just because you want to make sure everything stays intact and it feels really good. What other questions y'all be asking? How many braids I have in total? Baby, I don't know when I'm not counting for you. I'm sorry. I have a good amount to the point where it doesn't look thin. I can wear it any way. I know y'all saw me playing around with it. I can do a middle part. I could do side, side. Oh my God, this is going to look so cute when I have up half down. This is going to look so cute in a top knot. A high pony. I have enough braids to the point where any little style I do will be cute. But I'm not counting them for y'all, okay? I'm sorry. This is about to be my go-to summer style. Because it doesn't even take that long to do. Period. I am going to put a scarf on my head. I think I answered all the most important questions. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. Because y'all know, I'll be talking to y'all in the comments. I like interacting with you guys. Y'all, the last clip of me back in action with my makeup my hair done fleeking my edges got deleted somehow i do not know but i just wanted to thank you guys for watching today's tutorial if you enjoy please give me a thumbs up if you're new here make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye yeah 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 yeah